Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Well, we've got a very big high rolling in for the next few days. In fact, it could last quite a bit longer. We're going to cover today quite a few things. First of all, how long will this high last? Uh, the downpours that are likely to be popping up around the upper North Island, some with isolated thunder, the weekend subtropical low, and then we're going to show you an animation for the rest of November, and it could be a little bit surprising for some of you. So this is the current setup. The white area shows high pressure. It is dominating the country. The one area to focus on is actually just up here to the north. You can see the winds hugging along the eastern coastline, but they curve around back into Northland, Coromandel, Bay of Plenty, and to some degree Auckland and Waikato. That's the area that could produce a couple of afternoon downpours. So this is Wednesday afternoon, but I've got to say this could be Tuesday afternoon because it's almost identical. High pressure dominates the South Island and the lower half of the North Island. In the upper North Island, the, that little area of wind flow that's coming in off the sea. So you've got the humidity from the sea comes into the warmer land during this uh, high pressure system we've got and you end up with these big afternoon downpours. They can pop up almost anywhere from about Taupo northwards. So we're going to be seeing that on both Tuesday and Wednesday and in fact even on Thursday it still stays with us as this big high pressure system remains around the country. So a few big downpours that'll be very helpful to some farmers and growers out there but for many others um, you're not going to get it. It's actually looking pretty dry. And we'll talk about that just a little bit later on. But first of all, let's head in towards the weekend because there's a very slight southerly change on Friday. It's nothing major. It's just enough around this next high uh, to bring in maybe a couple of light showers just around the Catlins and maybe uh, coastal Otago, but it won't really be much. Mostly dry, sunniest weather on the west coast and see the North Island, those big downpours have mainly cleared away. Perhaps one still lingering around the Gisborne Ranges. But look at this as we head in towards the weekend. Where did that come from? <laughs> Big deep subtropical low. Now this one is similar to the one last weekend. It's quite sizable. It's got a lot of rain and energy with it. In fact, it might even have a little bit more energy than the one we just had last weekend. But it's still, like last weekend, out at sea. So lunchtime Saturday, you can see the easterlies or southeasterlies a bit windy again around the North Island. It'll be mostly dry, just a couple of drizzle patches around the east coast. It is dry and settled around the South Island and fairly warm as well with those winds coming in from the northeast. This system might just brush the upper North Island on Saturday night and into the early hours of Sunday. It's possible. Uh, as you can see here on Sunday, the low is actually weakened a little bit as our big high continues to push in. So those drizzly patches shift a little bit further north. It is looking like it'll be a mostly dry weekend, but it's still one to keep a wee eye on. This high is very much dominating. And that brings me to my last point. What is happening with our weather pattern as we go through the rest of November? I'm getting quite a few of you saying to me now uh, that it is drier than you expected after being so wet just only a month ago. So look at this animation. It is well sped up, but this is showing you the rest of the month. And I want you to focus on this area here. High pressure is pretty much dominating for the rest of the month. Now we might see, this is our low at the weekend. You see how it comes down, brushes with the north, doesn't go a lot further. So just keep that in mind. We are in a very dry spell now for the rest of November. There might still be a surprise downpour, there might be a surprise shower, but for the most part, we are now at the drier point of the year. So we'll keep you up to date on how things are shaping up. That is all from me today.